There ought to be uh, a, a more tiered application of JDIG in it with an understanding that we, you know, one of the policy goals here in the state is to, to, to spawn economic development in, in less prosperous areas, um, and, and JDIG ought to be spread around to the rural areas um, as, a, as a way to help get projects there. It is not... Um, it is less necessary probably in Triangle and uh, in Charlotte, and sometimes there may be rightful criticism about the use there. Um, it is more necessary in the rural areas. So I think actually that balance, whether it's 50-50 or some other balance that's close to that, makes good sense. Yeah, and this thing also under would take out the uh, aviation uh, tax credit and the data center tax credit that was in the House bill, uh, and either run those separately or not run them at all. Is that something that in your mind need to stay in that bill, or I, I can't. Again, I don't have strong views about the aviation tax credit. My sense is uh, I don't think that um, uh, the airlines is going anywhere in Charlotte with or without it. But but I understand for the people in Charlotte, um, their their concern. Um, I think that the, the data center credit is probably, I think that's the other one you asked me. Um, I think um, I would be in favor of keeping that in the bill. Um, I, I, think there, I think there's benefit to be gained there. Um, you know, I'm, less, I'm less sure about the aviation credit. And as a matter of process, uh, and you know, like, like the speaker was concerned about the Senate having a separate bill versus working with the House bill in a conference committee, we're hearing urgency from the governor that he needs the tools uh, sooner rather than later. Is there a concern with how the Senate's going about this now that they've got 117? Well, I do um, have a concern uh, along the lines the governor does and, and, and the speaker does. I do think that the goal here was to try to get whatever we can agree on, whatever those additional tools are going to be, in the hands of the secretary and the speak and the governor at a time when it can make a difference in fairly serious negotiations that are going on now. Um, you know, if that urgency is not there, then, then no, I don't have a problem with the normal process. If that urgency is there, then it seems... Um, uh, not a smart way to move right now. It's not and lending stability. And one thing economic negotiations need, I think, is stability and predictability and certainty. And this is not providing that. Yep.